Hey guys and dolls, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a review and swatch fest, although with highlighters there's not really a whole lot to swatch, but I'm going to do it anyway to show you the difference um, between the shades that I have of the Hourglass Ambient Light Strobe Light Powders. As you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Ambient Light Powders. These are phenomenal. And when they first came out, I pretty much lost my mind. And over time, I've slowly built it up and bought about six of them. I didn't all run out and buy these all at once. These were $45 each. And I'm just kind of going to give you the information about these as sort of a background information because this is a new launch in the same line of products. So the ambient lighting powders are a powder that can be used for highlight, for uh, blush even if they're deep enough for you. But really, they're intended to be used as a setting powder all over your face to give you a different lighting effect. So for instance, this is diffused light and it has a yellow tint to it. So it's really great at minimizing the redness in your face without being too much of a yellow toned powder. Uh, this one is mood light, which is great for adding a little bit of like a pinky glow. Um, it's kind of like when people have pink light bulbs, which by the way are totally what I have back there. Even though they don't appear pink, they give a nice um, like a pink glow to your skin. At the point, they do different things. So when I heard that they were going to be launching these strobe powders and that they were going to be for highlighting specific certain areas, I was excited. Um, you know, I love the ambient light powders and I do sometimes use some of the different colors as highlighting powders because they're light enough for my skin. For instance, ethereal light, you know, it's so light I can use it as a, like a matte highlight for when I don't want any shine or anything, but I do want a little bit of a lift. So I was interested to see what the difference between the ambient lighting powders and the ambient strobe powders would be. So I decided to pick up three of the four shades. The only other color that I didn't get, it has more of like a peachy beige tone to it, which is beautiful. Beautiful. But I really wanted to discover what the difference between incandescent and iridescent light is because they looked kind of similar in the pan. I thought the only way that I'd really be able to figure that out is to take them home and use them. And I also really wanted to pick up Brilliant Light, the lovely yellow, because a lovely yellow highlight goes well on pretty much every one and goes with pretty much every look. So I wanted to get a chance to really dive in and test them. I've had them now for a couple of weeks and I have to tell you guys, I love them. I did not expect to like them this much. I kind of bought them with like a little grain of salt, like, yeah, I'll try them, whatever, you know. Um, when I went to the store and was looking at them, I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the first thing that I noticed right off the bat is there is some very, very, very fine micro particle sparkle. I hesitate to even use the word sparkle because that makes it sound like they're glittery. They're totally not glittery. These are some of the most subtle, beautiful, natural, photogenic, you know, highlighters that you can buy. They're definitely for when you want that like subtle glow. Like you can see I've got a glow going, but it's not like on fleek. It's not metallic. It's not super bold. Those are fun too. But for like every day, I kind of tend to prefer these ones that are like a little more toned down, a little more refined. I'm going to go ahead and swatch all three colors that I have for you guys now. The first is Brilliant Light, this beautiful yellow shade. I just absolutely adore the color of this. Nice paled out yellow. It does have that little bit of micro sparkle that shows up. Gorgeous. Then I have Iridescent Light, which is, I believe, the more peachy of the two of the other colors. This one has more, I feel like, of a satin finish. And then Iridescent Light is the Pale Icy Pink. This one has less of a satin finish than Iridescent Light, in my opinion, and it's very, very light. I have a very, very pale complexion. I think you'll really like Incandescent Light. Now, one thing that I noticed when I went to go pick these up is that they were $7 cheaper than the Ambient Light Powders, which I was really excited about. I was like, oh, cool, they're cheaper, yay! And then I realized that they were pretty small. Um, the original Ambient Light Powders were 0.35 ounces of product for $45, which is kind of expensive, let's be honest. But you're getting a fair amount of product. The strobe powders, you're getting 0.16 ounces of product for $38. So for only $7 more, you get more than double the product with the ambient light powders. However, these can be placed all over the face, and that's the intention of the powder is to be used as either highlight powder or setting powder, however you kind of want to use it. Whereas this is really intended only as a highlight powder, so you're only supposed to use it in small spaces of the face, so I guess it won't, you know, I guess it'll last you longer. Brilliant is actually probably my favorite, and I think the most versatile because this color is just so universally flattering so if you're kind of like wavering back and forth I don't know which one of these to get 
definitely look into this one. Um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful highlight color and it goes with pretty much every look. Now, when I was shopping, I couldn't really decide between iridescent light and incandescent light. And really, I mean, do these not look like really, really similar? I find that iridescent light has a more peachy tone. It's a little bit warmer and a little more flattering for me. Um, even though I am very, very pale, I find that if I use like a super icy highlight, it's just not a good look on me. However, if you are super, super pale, you know, like very, very, very pale, I think you'll really, really like this. I also think that this might be more flattering on someone who has a deeper skin tone and is looking to just highlight in a very specific spot. Um, so it's really kind of up to you. I also want to mention that the incandescent light that is in the the trio palette is quite different from this highlight powder. You can see the colors are different. This one has more of a beige color. This one's definitely more pink. I'll go ahead and swatch these also side by side for you guys to see. So I think that's pretty much it. Basically, they are really subtle, really awesome highlighters. The colors are fantastic. You can't really overdo it with these. You really just have to try them out. Go test them out in your local Sephora if you're interested. The one part of this launch that I wasn't really impressed with was the Ambient Strobe Light Sculptor, the little sponge. I decided to pick this guy up too because I thought, okay, cool, they have a little applicator for it that'll make it more awesome somehow. Um, it's got a very interesting shape. It's quite easy to hold. It's got this flat side and it's got a flocked end. So I thought, oh cool, it's gonna be good for blending. I've gotta tell you guys, I don't like this. I find that it either applies way too much product or you can get it wet and just kind of very subtly go along the edge and just apply a little bit of highlight. But if you have the Miracle Complexion Sponge from Real Techniques, it has that same edge and you can do the same thing. And this is like five bucks and this was like 22. The flocked edge really doesn't do anything for you. I mean, it feels cool. I could see how this might be nice for like powder or something, but not really a big fan of this. And I genuinely like the way that this powder looks applied with a brush versus this. So this was definitely a miss for me. Maybe I'm missing out on some magical way that this works. If you guys have tried this and you like it, please let me know if you have any secret tips or tricks on how to use it. Or if you've seen someone's video where they're using it and they, you know, do something really cool with it. I would love to use it because, you know, I spent 22 bucks on it. I don't want it to just like sit here doing nothing. You know, I want to learn how to use it. So that is it. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tomorrow I'm going to have a tutorial for this look, a full hair, eye, and face makeup tutorial. I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you guys will come back for that. I'll see you in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be your own kind of beautiful. See you. Bye.